Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Tainted, Tainted Grail. Grail. The fall. The fall of Avalon. Of Avalon. But not the beach. Not the beach. What is it? Avalon, Avalon Beach. beach? Oh, okay. At the shore. Not that one. Indeed, not that one. <laughs> All right, so Tainted Grail is um, another one published by Awaken Realms, mm -hmm. uh, designed by Christoph Piskorski and Marcin Swierkot. Mm -hmm. Plays one to four players in about 60 to 120 minutes. And I think we'll be playing, this is a story-based adventure game, so yes. we're going to try to keep the spoilers to a minimum. Um, as best we can. a lot of cool stuff going on. We don't want to ruin it, but also want to give you an idea of how it plays. All right, so join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. Here we have the Tainted Grail. Welcome to Avalon. Fall of Avalon, actually. I know. Yes. So what is Tainted Grail? So Tainted Grail, if you think of Seventh Continent <laughs> and Gloomhaven, and you kind of squish them together into one game of awesomeness, that is the Tainted Grail. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to try to keep this... Um, as basic as we can. We don't want to get too much into the story because that's half the enjoyment, um, half yes. the fun out of playing a game like this. But there's, it's, it'll be impossible to avoid some of the spoilers um, just because we're going to show you some playthrough. Right? Exactly. I mean, it's just normally, these are challenging for us, but we're definitely going to do it for yeah. you. Um, so we'll quickly go over the setup. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, tell you what our goal is, and then we'll get to it. All yes. Right? So take a look at the table. Uh, and here you have the island of Avalon and we are two and I don't want to call them heroes because in this game you're not heroes you're two like normal, like normal village dudes. folk so like the town is has gathered it of five champions and sent them right. off to like save the world and you're kind of what's left over yeah and you're like all right well maybe I'll do some stuff around town and try to help things out um, so this is our starting area and, and you start on this this land tile called uh, Korak Kurach, oh, Kaunach farm hold. It's kind of like your hometown. And um, within the farm hold is this statue. And it's it's one of these guys, right? They're called mm -hmm. the men here. And this guy, they, they, they're they lit and they keep evil away. The weirdness, they call they're it. They're like physically lit up. They're lit up. This guy is lit <laughs> up. And he is keeping the badness away, right? So unfortunately, he's going out. And he's gonna be—he's gonna burn out in five days. So we have this little timer here just to let us know and remind us that in five days, you know, the doom and gloom is gonna is gonna happen unless we find a way to rekindle the flame here. Right. Right. So we've each chosen two, and we'll call them just adventurers, right, mm -hmm. for the sake of argument. Um, and I'm, I've chosen this guy named Bayor, right? And he's like any of your normal dudes, except he's got a—he's uh, got a festering wound on him <laughs> like a mystery wound <laughs> yeah so if you're familiar with the wheel of time series he's like randall thor when he was wounded <laughs> by the dark one so he has a festering wound and, it, and what that does is he'll lose one health when resting if he's hungry or exhausted so i want to try to avoid being hungry and exhausted he's got a his own player board that allows him to track stats his uh, attributes, and in this game, there's six core attributes. There's aggression, mm -hmm. courage, practicality, empathy, caution, and spirituality. The left side really applies to combat. The right side applies to diplomacy, more or less. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Bayor starts with three food, one wealth. So, that's like money in this game. Uh, you can also earn reputation, magic, and experience points that we can trade in later for upgrades to our attributes mm -hmm. or to our combat or diplomacy cards and we'll explain that in a minute uh he also starts with two aggression one courage one practicality and one caution everybody starts with full health mm -hmm. uh full energy and zero trauma trauma <laughs> or it's uh it's not trauma it's something else but we'll, terror. terror that's yeah. it terror 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 so he also has the ability to do craft for five energy one random craftable item nice. so if i want to do that that's what good. is your character um so she's kind of like the opposite which is really good for an adventure like this yep. um and i have Ile, and she is 
kind of like a wilderness. I picture her being like a wilderness goddess of some kind. Well, she's, she's just not a really a goddess. She's actually she's probably a just a village farmer. Probably, but I, I picture her being like super awesome. Okay. But she's very, she's not as combative. She's kind of more on the diplomacy side of things. And one thing that you'll notice throughout the game is that these are kind of balanced, mm -hmm. right? So you have aggression versus empathy, courage versus caution, practicality versus spirituality. She's going to tend more towards, like, she has full empathy. Um, she has a little bit of caution, a little bit of courage, and a little bit of practicality. She also starts with three food, one wealth, and one magic. Mm. Um, and then she, unfortunately, is traumatized, so she... Her, she rest her rest only restores um my terror mm -hmm. in a land with an active menhir okay so i have to be fortunately we're in a land with an active menhir right fortunately now. we are now i'm also not that terrorized at oh, the moment which okay. is good um and then my healing uh, i have this power called healing herbs so if i'm outside of a settlement i can spend two energy to regain one health so i guess i'm like foraging for stuff that makes sense and can heal myself all right, so what do we do in this game? We are going to uh, we're going to move around the island. We're mm -hmm. going to explore. We're going to try to find a way to restore this menhir um, and any others that are on this island to try to help save the land of Avalon or the island of Avalon. So uh, right now we've got four surrounding uh, areas. So we've got the Hunter's Grove, we've got the Charred Conclave, the Warrior's Fair, and the Forlorn Swords. Um, and on our turn, uh, and we can go in any order. We're playing cooperatively. Right. Uh, you just have to do as many things as you want. Everything you do costs energy. And uh, we have a number of actions we can do. There's actions on, on the areas that you're in. Uh, you have the ability to travel to a, an adjacent area if you'd like to. You can explore an area, and it will reveal the backside of the card. Um, the locations, like I said, they have their own actions. You can activate the Mjolnir if or, or the Mjolnir if you have the, the, the requirements. <laughs> you can activate Thor's hammer if you this want. Game. Uh, so there are a lot of things you can do, and there are a lot of encounters and adventures we're going to go on a as this story unfolds, and we're just going to get to it and uh, and have at it. So yeah. the setup is really simple. It's just like you see here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an event deck that's going to occur every time we uh, we go through, and we're, and we're playing chapter one, and we may not get through the whole chapter because we don't want to go through all of this. We're just going right. to play we'll see how it goes. until we find a nice <laughs> breaking point, and, yeah. and we feel we've demonstrated uh, everything that the base game can, you know, kind of has and yeah, offers here. Just give you a taste. Uh, yeah, everybody has their own combat deck, everybody has their own diplomacy deck, and we'll show you how that works. Um, but otherwise, I think we're ready to jump right in yes. uh, and start our adventure on Avalon Chapter Island. Chapter one. All right. Okay, so. Let's get started. You want to start or you want me to start? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, let's start by reading chapter one, part one. Okay, let's the do the event. event. So uh, the first phase uh, is a new day beginning where all dials would turn, but we're going to skip all that for now. Mm -hmm. But we are going to uh, reveal the event card for chapter one. So, go ahead and read that to us. Okay, sounds good. So, we're going to place this card on top of the ongoing events pile. Okay. Um, the time is short. A guardian menier that protected your town since the ancient days will soon go out, mm. letting dangerous powers flood in. You'll need to explore locations surrounding the town while they're still safe and learn a secret druidic ritual that will let you reawaken menhirs. Okay. So, our new task is to earn a menier rights card mm -hmm. before the menier goes out, which we've already kind of explained. All right. Um, and then it's when when it's completed, we're going to draw a card from the bottom of the event deck and reveal it immediately. Okay. So, uh, so that's that is it. our so persistent go goal. So right that'll here. go. And we'll put that up, oh. up there for now, there uh, we and we'll keep track of that. So yep. that is our first event. We know what we're doing, sort of. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> we'll see. But that's it. So you want to start off? You want to yeah, go? Yeah. Um, I can start off. I'm thinking. This is going to, the encounters tend to be like stuff you have to fight. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe you go that way. You leave way. that to me? <laughs> I'll go this way okay. and see what's going on over here at the Warrior Fair. Because I could use, if I can come across some weapons, I might be able to do that. So I start with full energy, which is sort of like six. Six energy, yeah. Um, I'm going to walk over here for one. One energy. And what that's going to do is actually open up these other locations right. before we do anything so else. So everything have... adjacent is going to Correct. open up. So we have 103. All right, hold on. These are a little out of order here. Hold on. 103, you said? They're a lot out of order. <laughs> they are a lot out of order. You're out of order. <laughs> this whole game is out of order. This whole game is out of order. <laughs> 103? No. Oh, sorry. This what is are you one talking of about? That is 103. <laughs> I threw you for a loop. All right, so what happens to these cards is that they have kind of like these keys on them. 
This actually, and there's a glare, that's why I didn't see it. So there's actually no card that goes above this. Um, but we do have, well, no, I have 108. No, listen, we can't open 118 yet because the men here oh, yeah, that's only, right. okay, so the way the men here works, right? is that he has his light on, uh -huh. but he can only see a certain radius around right. him. So he's only going to see adjacent uh -huh. and then like to the diagonal, Yes. sort of. Um, he can, yeah, adjacent, he, he illuminates one adjacent. space diagonally and orthogonally adjacent to him. So exactly. basically just everything around the center, unless we find another Meneer Somewhere on the here. edge that'll yeah. open up another section. So that's why we couldn't open up this one. Even though we can't see it. So anyway, so I opened up the grub wood. Mm which says minus one energy and explore after you enter this location so you have these lightning, lightning bolts. bolts and those are required things that happen automatically as soon as you walk in now what, what can in. you do as the action on this yeah space? so on the warrior fair location i have this um called combat trial mm -hmm. so as you're trying for you're you know, fighting to find, you're training to be a warrior so you can pay four energy um, plus one health and you'll gain two experience points down here and the experience points will help you um, as as a resource in the game That's so. pretty good. That's pretty good mm -hmm. um, But I'm not feeling like spending all that energy right now uh, So I think I might just go down here and explore Automatically. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna come down here for one and Then immediately I have to spend one energy and explore after I enter. Okay, so how do we explore? So, oh, we right. flipped the card Sorry. over. Yeah, I know. I was, well, I was looking at this because it has one of these eyeballs on it, which uh, means if I stay there, yes. I'm going to have to read a dream. If you sleep, uh, spend the night in any location with an eyeball, you will dream. Yes. Um, and this land has like creepy dreams. It does. Really weird stuff happened here. All right, so this is the Grubwood. So even in broad daylight, the Grubwood is not a good place to be. Great. Mm-hmm. It's old trees bend towards each other like whispering hags. That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> old chains tatter, attached to treetops chime with every breeze. The ground under them is foul and drenched in a strange substance. As you inspect it, you're startled by a hooded figure that watches you from behind the trees. Its frayed cape arches upwards on its back as if it was covering a pair of wings. Mm. When the creature realizes you've spotted it, it runs away. Intrigued, you give chase. But after a while, it disappears between the gnarly trees. Tired, you lean on one of the trunks only to discover it's crawling with fat white maggots. Oh, okay. Gross. So, I have some options on here. So, I can remove this location card and replace it with location 110. Well, I don't oh, think that's these, an are directives. these are directives. These are directives. That doesn't sound like an option. To me. <laughs> Explanation is I actually, when you read the book. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, here so you we're go. replacing it with the Grubwood. Okay, so it's a different Again, grub wood. It's a different version. This version allows you to cook worms as okay. an action. So you can pay an energy, gain a terror, because yeah. that's disgusting. But you do gain a food for doing right. it. And you need food in this game. Yeah, you really do. Um, right. So what do I have? One action so left? So why don't you pause? Yeah, I'll start doing go. some things. And then we'll see, because I, I have some energy left to spend. So. All right, so now I'm in town still. So I could do chores. Mm hmm for the townsfolk mm -hmm. where i could pay one energy to gain one reputation, reputation once a day if mm -hmm. i really wanted to get some reputation with these guys but i don't really think i need to do that uh so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna head down to the forlorn swords Ooh, that's gonna okay. cost me one energy and here there is a smith shop and i could pay two bucks i only have one though to draw a random item uh, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have enough money. So what I'll do is I'll spend another energy and I will explore. Okay. So the forlorn swords. You rest a while in the shades of, a, of titanic swords. Their rusty smell tickling your nostrils. A hundred yards away, an elder smith toils, chipping at the jagged edge of a giant weapon. The hammer he uses to break apart this ancient steel is very strange, just like the sound it makes. So that is interesting. Mm. Interesting. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. So we have to go to the journal. It had a magnifying glass on it. It did. It had the symbol where you have to go to the journal. Okay. This is the journal. The secret journal. Which is kind of weird because I feel like you were just there. Maybe it's your journal. All right. Forlorn swords. Yep. Okay. 
So it should be the top section, mm. which pretty much repeats what the card said. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you have some options. You can attempt to climb one of the swords. Okay. Try to talk with the smith. Uh-huh. Rest in the shade of the sword or leave and your exploration will I'm going to climb that sword. You're going to climb the sword? Yeah, why not? Okay. Is that gold you see high up on the pommel? I right, hope so. The first one. All right, so you can choose one. Um, the first one requires one or more courage. I have um, that. What? I have that. So okay. what is it? Uh, try a fast, free climb, trusting uh -huh. your strength and agility. Okay. You can spend an energy to study the sword's surface and find the best approach and climb slowly. Uh-huh. Or requires one or more caution. Do you have caution? I do. Oh, okay. Spend two energy to prepare ropes and climbing hooks and proceed with extreme caution. Ooh, that's tough. So I can study the sword. What does that What does that cost me if I study it? One energy. Uh, it's one energy. To study and find the best route. Yes. Okay, let me do that. Okay. So you're going to roll a die. Uh huh. Okay. And. <laughs> okay. Three. You're going to add two. Okay. And then add one for each point of your health. Five plus. Seven. Twelve. Take seven. I have twelve. Twelve total? Wait, well it's three plus two plus seven health. Hmm. Okay. That's twelve. Two twelve. Okay. Your result was ten to thirteen. A perfect climb. Alright, good. If there's no marker on the location card, go to verse fourteen. Okay. Okay. Um so sweaty and tired, you're now in a narrow niche that was once the sword's fuller. There, you rest a while, feasting your eyes on the wide open vistas of the island. Mm. From here, you can see that there are two more men here. Oh. Near Quanach. Mm -hmm. One sits hidden between the mist covered mounds of the four dwellers. Another is in the hills near a cursed town known as the Whitening. Okay. Put a time token representing your progress on the location card. Okay. And you have energy left still, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so you now you can choose. Mm -hmm. You can climb further. You look up and notice uh, the sword's guard shining far above your head. Okay. Or you can descend in your exploration. I'm going to climb line. further. What does that cost me? It doesn't cost you anything. Okay. Let me do that. Um, oh, it does cost you. You would do the same thing again. So you can climb further and you're going to do one or more courage. You can yeah. try the free climb. I'm going to do the one where I study the thing. You want to study it again? Yeah. So spend an energy. I have to spend another energy? You do. It's the same same. What option. thing doesn't cost me energy? They all cost me energy. No, no, no. The one costs... Uh, one is just you have to have one or more courage. And you could just do it. And you just do it. Okay. And one, you just have to have one or more caution. Oh, okay. All right. Then I'm going to use the caution. Because okay. it doesn't cost me energy, right? Yeah, and you don't have to, like, spend it. Okay. That one's going to, like, prepare ropes, climbing hooks, and proceed right. with extreme caution. The courage is the free climb, so you're okay. just like, screw it, I'm going. Right, right. I, well, you want to go cautiously? If it doesn't cost me energy, sure. Okay. Um, so you're going to roll a die. Okay. Uh, you're going to add, add five to that. Eight. And then add one point for each of your health. Fifteen. All right. It's another perfect climb. Of course. <laughs> if there's no marker on location card, go to verse 14. Um, but we have, a, we have a marker this There is time. a marker, yeah. Okay. If there is, remove it. Okay. Multiply the number the number key of the location card by two. Okay. And go to the appropriate verse in the Book of Secrets. So two oh six, uh, two ten in the Book of Secrets. Two ten. Okay. So that's so in the now very we're back. Now we go in the back. Wow. Our journal also doubles as the Book of Secrets. It does. Indeed. <laughs> so, so many secrets. So secret number 210, what do yes. we have? Okay, you did it. You pull yourself onto the sword's cross guard as, a, as wide as a moat. Mm. Startled seabirds watch you from their nests. You stretch your arms wide as if to embrace the entire island. Mm. From here, you can see incredible faraway places. The pale, smooth walls of a four-dweller fortress to the northeast. The castle Camelot far along the southwestern shore. Hmm. The reflective surface of the mirror lake directly to the north. Okay. And the sacred druid moon ring behind it. 
Then you discover that many parts of the sword's cross guard and pommel are still covered in gold. Wow. Gain one experience mm -hmm. and two wealth. That's what I'm talking about. That was a very good exploration. It was. All right. Two wealth and one experience. Okay. Like rich. Okay. Now what? I was just thinking about what else is there. And mm. that's it. That's okay. all. So you're done. So I'm still there. I want to go down. You can't. There's I can't. no key. What do you mean there's no... No, no. I, I want to climb down from the sword. Oh. Well, you can't. I can't do that now? No, that's not an option. Oh, okay. It doesn't say you're, <laughs> you're stuck. You're stuck there. Your exploration well, I guess cannot that, end. Well, I guess that ended, right? I think it ended. that exploration ends with me getting all that money. You so just, I, maybe you just slid down. The okay. So finger. now that I'm back on the ground, I think I will go to the smith shop. So these actions, I'll take the book. Okay. These go. actions that you can do here are, mm -hmm. um, they don't cost any energy. So I'm going to spend two of my wealth mm -hmm. and draw a random item. Okay, great. So, and then you can think about what you want to do, because I'm running out of energy. I am too. I have like one left. So the way that energy works is, um, and I don't know if you can see this on, on film or not, but we have um, basically six energy to use from the start. Mm -hmm. But these last two, the one and the zero, mean that you're exhausted. So at the end of the day, we're going to rest, and we can actually bump our energy all the way back up to full for the next day. But if you're down in this red section, you only bump it up to four. So yeah, it's uh, not you're good. exhausted. So it's kind of like, do you use it or not? What did you get for your secret? I got Morrigan's Anything. Blood. Discard any time to use. I will gain two terror and three magic. Mm. So that's good if I ever need magic. That is good. So that's what I bought from the smithy. All right, so mm. uh, what are you going to do? I don't know. I want to climb that sword too. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just want to follow you. All right, so I guess I'll spend one more my one more energy, and I don't know, maybe just go back up here to the Warriors' Fair. All right. I guess. I wish you would have found that that other men here. But... All right, so I'm gonna go. I think I'm pretty much done here. Um, I mean, I could talk to the Smith, right? You know what? Can I take that back? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Instead, I kind of want to stay here. I uh, still spend the energy because I'm going to cook worms. And gain terror. Yeah, I'll gain a terror, but that goes away after I sleep and I get food. All right, you I have a food. pool over here. I want to go back to the smith. Okay. So go back to the book. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. Okay. I don't see why I can't go explore back and talk, well, talk to this guy. Okay. I don't really think I need to explore it again because I've already explored it. I know it's here, right? So I should be able to talk to this guy now that I just bought from him. Mm -hmm. I like to hear what he's got to say. I don't see why not. Right. Okay, you rest a while in the shade. All right, you're gonna talk. You're gonna talk to the smith. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're Bayor, mm -hmm. uh, go to which first I am. Floor. You are. Okay, you know the smith. No, oh, see. Your missing master and him used to be friends. Okay. You greet him politely and then hang back watching. Each strike of his hammer against the surface of the sword produces a sharp tingling sound. This old steel was shaped not with a tool, but with a song. Mm. The smith explains after a while. It takes the same pitch to break it apart. Okay. Like it actually was. That wasn't like a metaphor. No, no, I hear you. Um, the hammer I have here remembers the music of the four dwellers. Mm, I want that hammer. <laughs> After a while, the smith gathers rusty ingots from the grass and invites you to his hut, where he shows you the rest of the process. Okay. Gain one XP. Okay. And the riddle of old steel status, if you don't have it yet. All right. So statuses you can track on your save sheet, and the riddle of old steel is right here. So you can easily just mark that, <clears throat> mark that, and I'll just put a little marker on it for now. So the riddle of old steel I have. Okay. Cool. All right, um, and now you can choose the, one of the following. Okay. You can attempt to buy the hammer. Mm. Um, attempt to steal the hammer. Mm -hmm. If the total result is... Oh. Well, don't tell me that. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> well, because it's all in my mind. Okay, so that's it. So you're... you're or you can leave. Okay, so... 
Can I buy it for one wealth? You can spend one to six wealth and then check your result. Oh boy. I don't think he's going to sell me this. How about if I steal it from him? You want to steal it? Why not? All right. I don't know what happens. All right. So you're going to roll a die. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Okay. You're going to add one for each practicality. Uh, I've got one. So that's six. Um... Ah, if the total result is at least five, you gain the old Steel Smasher item guy. Yes! You <laughs> stole it! I can't believe it. The guy's a fool. <laughs> so what do I do? Um, you, you can only leave now. I can't get the sword. Well, how do I get the hammer? You get the item card. Is it You a, gain the sma uh, old Steel Smasher item card. Take it, an item. Does it tell you what it is? It's called the old Steel Smasher. The old Steel Smasher. It's a singing sword. Or singing hammer. I guess. It's not in here. It doesn't have any numbers on it? Nope. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah. It's a secret. No. Oh, well, it says item card, so. Oh, well, it's not an item. It's a secret. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a weapon. Adds one to the value of my sequence. Oh, yeah, nice. During purple encounters, add two instead. What? Oh, that's sweet. So that my battle cool. is going to be. I feel like you're getting a lot of cool stuff. I am. I really am. All right. So I have no, I have one energy left. I'm going to just spend the last one going back to town. Mm, um, interesting. And then calling it a night for my guy. What okay. about you? Uh, I'm done. I'm not doing anything else. All right. So we are going to then end the day. So now you have to eat food mm -hmm. uh, to restore, and it will restore one health which we both haven't lost any yep. uh and one terror. terror so one food goes away yep uh it return it refreshes mm -hmm. to full. all of your energy to full as long as you're not exhausted right um and then we can spend if we're not exhausted experience i know if you have it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay uh, the way you spend experience is you have to pay one more than however many you have in opposing uh, attributes if you want to raise an attribute mm -hmm. so practicality is one um, it would cost me two to get one practicality or one spirituality mm -hmm. if I really wanted to um, which is kind of nice to have the option mm -hmm. to be a little spiritual mm -hmm. I think I think so right and that would cost nice me my two Who's or I could balance? buy uh, upgraded cards for my for my uh, fighting deck yes. which I'll, I'll do at some point but not yet okay. so that was my like level up right so I'm That's not a little good. more spiritual um, and then we are going to read a dream if we're in a location. Yes, you are that in a dream has, location. Uh, and you are not. I am not. So you're going to have to look up location 101. You're in 101, right? And read a dream for Bayor. This land gives you freaky dreams. It, well, yeah. And if you're. It uh, tells you its story in the dream. If you're insane, you have nightmares instead. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> in your restless dream, mm -hmm. a pale lady rise from the rises from the water. Okay. Her eyes milky and her skin spoiled with rot. She whispers something into your ear. Her breath smells of sea salt, kelp, and rotten fish. Okay. You barely remember the words. There was something about three enigmas, one hidden under the Isle of Dread, one clutched in the grasp of burned hands and arms, mm. and one buried in a mist-covered mound. But what could it mean? I don't know. Do you want a hint? Sure. The dream refers to the nine, three out of the nine locations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's possible some of them are not revealed yet. Very possible. There you go. Okay. So there we go. So there's something hidden in some of these other locations. Uh, but that is it for the first night. Mm -hmm. uh, we will get ready to start the next day. Yeah. So let's start the day. We have to turn all dials. So we are now down to four days before mm -hmm. this guy... Runs out of light. Shuts himself off. His batteries run out. Mm-hmm. All right, so he's on four now. He needs some Energizer batteries. I know. And we're going to need a new event. So what is the event? Heavy rain. Oh, fall. great. Heavy rain. Like that game. Yeah. Good game. Each travel after the first one costs one energy. I guess I'm not getting food this Each time. travel after the first one? Yes. Costs an additional energy. Yes. Oh, great. Every creek becomes a raging river. Every hill becomes a water slide. This is bad. This is not good. Okay, so we've got heavy rains today. Great. So why don't you start your journey? 
Well, I'm not even going to be able to make it where I want to go. Oh, uh, you can get close and do some other stuff. Maybe to go to the combat know. trials. Maybe, since I'm close. Mm -hmm. It drops you four energy, though. I'm going to be like, one to travel, one, two, three, four. I'll end up exhausted. One to travel plus four? Yeah. One, it's one too two, much. three, four. It. Wow. Um, but it's like anything else. If I go here, it'd be one, two, three. Yeah. Four, four five. five. And then you would end your turn. But at least it would open the map for this day. Yeah, but I'm, I would still be exhausted. Oh, really? Yeah, it's five. All I can really do is go here. Go to town and do some Which chores? kind of stupid. I wish I could explore this again. Um, I'll look and see if you okay. can. If it means anything. Yeah, it actually you can. I can? Yeah. And I'm staying here and I'm exploring. Okay. So you spent an energy? Yes. So go ahead and read that. All right. Even in broad daylight, the grubwood is not a good place to be. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's old trees. Bend towards each other like whispering hags. They're like wet whispering hags today. Yep. It's so rainy. Old chains attached to tree tops chime with every breeze, blah, blah, blah. You keep thinking about the creature you started on your first visit here. Is it possible someone lives in this foul place? I don't know. Journal entry. All right, so One, I've got... ten. I've got the journal entry. All right. So uh, you have two choices. You can walk into the grubwood mm -hmm. or you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll walk in there. Okay, how far do you dare to one to wander? Yeah, so um, you can spend one energy okay. to skirt the Grubwood's border. You can spend two energy and requires one or more courage. Do you have courage? Yes. All right. To go deeper, but don't lose sight of the forest edge. Or you can spend three energy, but requires two or more courage. So you can't oh, do that. Oh, I only that. have one. All right. I guess I'll do the one that's one courage. All right. So energy? you're just going to skirt. Two energy is one courage. Yeah. One, two. Okay. All right. So you're going to go deeper in, but don't lose sight of the forest edge. That Roll a smart. die. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, three. so you rolled a three. So we're gonna add three to that to give you six. Okay. And we're gonna go here. So on a six, you're ambushed by a creature of nightmare. No. Draw a purple encounter. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get eaten. This is terrible. Sorry. Uh all right. If it is, if the difficulty is more than six, discard it and draw a new one. It is a nine. So then you need to draw something less than six. Okay. So it keep is a drawing. Nine. All right. That's a twenty. All right, you don't want that. These are like sure. the worst ones. <laughs> you, do you know how bad my lady is at fighting? Uh, we're gonna find All out. Right, five. Here's a five, okay. and it's a weird monster. Okay, so it's weird claimed. So we're gonna show people how. The combat in this game. A man works. who ventured too far. See, that's, <laughs> that's exactly me. what you just did. So this is what you're going to become. A weird claimed. All okay. right. So, uh, the way combat works is uh, kind of unique. You're going to need mm -hmm. to uh, play cards out and try to combine the proper symbols of the skills that you have that are the weaknesses of this creature. Right. In order to do enough damage. So you're going to need to do at least five damage in him. So you start the combat by drawing three cards off of your combat so deck. Bad. So, so bad. let's see. <laughs> so bad. All right. So, all right. So, uh, this isn't bad. See, I'm going to have to drop this though, which sucks. Why? What does it say? Okay. So uh, let me explain what's going on here. So I have um i have faint i have two of those mm -hmm. and that gives me um a practicality like a little snake and then the magic symbol which is good because i can match both of those actually yeah but it deals zero damage all right it's uncounterable which so is if an good enemy tries to counter mark its mark it its value becomes two for the rest of the encounter that's good so that's pretty good um so it would be a it would be a two, um, and then I also have I have two of those, and then I have a value one, which is also a magic, which is pretty good, but it drops if the enemy deals two or more damage on the next attack. Uh, which he's going to do. So I mean, because the only thing I could think that I could do is play like this. Mm-hmm. 
because if he tries to counter it, its value becomes two. Mm -hmm. And then play this one. That doesn't because connect unless you use magic. magic. But that'll cost you oh, a magic. Cost me. Then I can't do any of this. Uh, you can do the first one. That's all I can do. Right, and that's fine because that'll be your first round, right? Yeah, but I have nothing else to match up with this guy. Yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I can, I have practicality too. Yeah, you're fine there. But, but that one I doesn't have practicality have to, to match it. It has magic. And you'll have to pay magic. Yeah. You want to? I have you, more magic. Well, okay, then go ahead. I mean, I mean, I could do this. But that's going to drop off if he does two damage to you. But it's a value three because he's going to counter this first. He's not. Why because not? you're 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 not. What the creature does in damage to you mm -hmm. is determined by how much damage you do to him in your in your row here. Right? right. Right now you're doing only one damage to him. Right. So in zero to one damage, he's going to hit you for two and then give you a terror. Yeah. He's not going to counter anything. This. Oh, it's not only after he counters me that Correct. that becomes a two. Only if you do two damage to him is he going to counter you. Okay, so I should not do this. So I go back to my original what I was going to say, is I can do this, mm -hmm. right? Spend my magic, and then he's going to try to counter both he's of these? He's not going to counter you, because you've not done two damage to him yet. Oh, because it's only if he counters. Right. Oh. So, so I have to play this one. You then. don't have to play that one. Hey. Leave the first one up there. All right. Do no damage to him. Okay. Right. It's just this is in rounds, right? Okay. Discard one of those cards that you don't want to carry to the next round. But I like both of you them. You can't keep both. So once you've played all the cards you can play, you discard down to one. Okay. And then he attacks. Right. Since you've done no damage to him, he's going to do two damage and one terror to you. Okay. So you reduce your health by two, and increase your terror by one. Right. All right, now draw up to, th to three. Up to three, not three. No, you draw three cards. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you said up to three. Draw up to three cards, and then you go. Sorry, up So to this four. hasn't been countered. Right, but it still stays out there. And now you can play any of those cards that you can match up the, the proper symbols I just, again. What I was trying to say is if I put another faint card out, and let's say I do give him at least two damage this time, he would end up countering all of my cards, and I would automatically get two on each of those. Correct. Which would build up more It would kill ability. him the next round, yes. Yeah, so why wouldn't I have done that before? Well, you can do it now. It doesn't really change anything, okay. right? So, I have the same exact card that I just had a minute ago. I can spend a magic this right. time. Right, so just put it on the link so you know you spent it for that. And then... I can spend this one, In which is the courage. Courage, because you have courage. Which does two damage. Mm -hmm. And then I can do... That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. Because now he's going to go, right? Right. So I've done two damage to him, but that's not enough. So he's going to counter everything. Everything, right? So that's going to put markers. On this and on this. If the enemy tries to counter this card, mark it. Its value is, becomes two for the rest of the encounter. Right. And this one too. Same with that one. So now they're both worth two. This one drops after the enemy attack, if not the last in the sequence. It is the right. last in the sequence. So that was his combat. It's right. yours. Now you dr discard down to one. And then draw up your hand again. And now you can add now cards. Now this one. No, I don't because it doesn't match anything. Right, you can't match anything on this one. So oh. you don't have to do anything. You could just say, I'm done. But and I'm now not done. two, four, six damage beats him. Oh, okay. Unless you don't want to be done. You I want to be done. Uh, I want to be done. Okay, so that's how the sequence works. So you beat him. Okay. So what do you get? One magic back. One magic. There you go. Okay. That's how combat works. So you can put that on the bottom of the uh, encounter, encounter deck. deck. Actually, that was kind of easy considering what you could have gotten. I never win combat. You just in this did. Game. And you just did. Because my lady is not a fighter. She's not. All right. So what do I get? So what are we at? One ten? Is that what you're at? Yes. 
once. That was very stressful for my woman. I was <laughs> for both of you. Uh, that's really it. That's it. That's what you happen to find. Mm. You just got ambushed. Mm. So that ends so your I'm encounter. Just stuck in the forest. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that's it. Okay. So, is there anything else you want to do? Yeah, I guess I'll spend one more energy and just go here to this Forlorn Swords. Because that gets me one step closer to where I really want to go. Okay. So, you're in the Forlorn Swords. Yeah. That's where you're going to end your hanging time. out, yeah. That way I can have a dream tonight. Okay. About so that creepy, weird monster. I'll spend one energy to move up here. That's me. Oh. You're already there. Sorry. One energy to move here then. Okay. So then I... Oh, so you went across. Mm -hmm. I got you. So now I have to draw a gray encounter. Yes. So I've got my own encounter to deal with. It's oh an angry Oh my mob. god, it's an angry mob. And they are very powerful. Fourteen. Fourteen strength. Oh my god. There's you have no way. One... It's a guardian caution. opportunist. If you have less than one caution. Which you have caution, so that's plus what's damage with each attack. Yeah. So no, I'm pretty cautious. So I'm going to have to go against this angry mob. Wow. Okay. This is really going to be bad. <laughs> and you thought yours was bad. Well, at least you have. You're kind of a fighter, though. I'm a and fighter. And you have, like, some magic stuff. I've got so. some stuff. i got some things I could do here. So I've, I've got the old steel hammer. So you can apply one one weapon to this fight. So I'm going to add one to the value of my sequence. Whew. Wow, this is going to be tough. So let's see what I can do here. So I can go right off the bat and start with a powerful attack. So I'm going to line up my aggression mm -hmm. double aggression to double aggression right so this is a, a two two damage attack and i receive one wound if the if it's last in my sequence and it's certainly not going to be um i'm going to play defend next right so playing this card ends my turn mm -hmm. and i get uh minus two damage from attacks if this is last in my sequence oh, and it okay. is so i've got two plus one is three um, and I'm going to only do three damage, so he's going to what do... What is this? Did you add that? Yeah, my hammer does one, so it's But this, three. oh, receive plus one, oh, wound. Okay, never mind. Um, so add one to the value, so it's going to be three, right? Right. So three is one damage, which counters it, but he counters the last card in my sequence, so that's right. going to get rid of this one. All right, so I still have this one card in my hand. Uh, I'm going to draw up my hand and start round two. So let's see what we can do here. If we can get crazy on this guy. So, if played when the enemy value is higher than the number of cards in your sequence, mark this card and raise this value by one. So I'm going to do this heroic strike. It's going to cost me one energy, though, to do that because I'm getting crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to mark this card here, and it's going to give it a plus one okay. because it is less than uh, the number of cards and yeah, my sequence is less than 14, 14. <laughs> so I'm never going to reach that. Um, I'm going to... So what am I at now? Two, four, f three, five. four, five, six is going to be two damage. Wow. So I'm going to play another defend. Oh, I can't. Mm -mm. It doesn't line up. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, and to play those doublers, like this is like double aggression, you actually have to have double aggression. You do, and it doesn't match. That actually was really bad to play that card just now. Can I? Can I? Well, not, it was a risk. Let me take that back. It's still the same turn. You can actually readjust until you say you're done. Okay. So, oh no, I can't do that. Like, do you have anything else you can play? Yeah, I'm gonna just play this again. I'm just gonna defend again. Okay. And end my turn. So I'm gonna get rid of some cards here. So I gotta discard down to one. He's going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take any damage. Um, and he's going to counter that one. So I'm just defending right now. Whew, this is... It's stressful, isn't so it? So stressful. I'm nervous. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do... 
Maybe I'll do my heroic strike now. Yeah, I can do my heroic strike now. Heroic strike. And then that gets the plus one bonus. And I'm going to do a final blow. Mm, oh there. Yeah, okay. Match those, right. right? Drop after the enemy attack, if not last in the sequence. So it's going to stay, right? But it is last in the sequence. If not last in the sequence, it gets dropped. But since it is last oh, in the sequence, okay. it doesn't gotcha. get dropped. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage now, <laughs> right? So for eight damage, he's going to do two damage to me and then counter my last. One, two, and then knock this off. I need 14. There's no way I'm going to build this sequence that long. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to discard down to one again. I'm going to die. <laughs> this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work for me. Yeah. This is a, that's a tough location. It really is. I'm just hoping I can keep going. These don't, these don't have good symbols on them, unfortunately. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That's going to be three wounds. Oh my god. Can you put down two more and just run away? I'm going to hold this. So this is where I was, right? I don't know. Yeah, because they countered my last one. So how much damage is two, four, five, six? God, it's still two damage and countering my last. I'm gonna have to take three wounds here. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go big. One, two. These cards are terrible. Mm-hmm. No, they don't match anything, do they? This one would have been nice if I could have lined it up. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. So what do I got? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten. Three damage. But he's not countering anything, so as long as you draw One, two, good cards next time. Three damage. Wow, he's really he's pressing me down though. I know. And he's cat well he doesn't counter anything, right? No, that's oh, what I'm saying. So that's why it's not bad. Take him this round if I can yeah. do enough damage. All right. Alright, so this can be played as the first can only be played as the first card during your turn. Better mulligan that. Oh, I don't think I can. <laughs> you can't do at this anything. Point. You can't do anything. Uh, Not yeah, I can. I can thing. get rid of this card. Okay. But you can get rid of cards right, from your right. thing, and I can play that one. Okay. All right. It's the first. I can play. Oh, but I'll line up that. You don't Spend have to this. Oh. Gain two terror. But you can only gain one. But now I'm above it, it's so longer. I think I'm going crazy. Yeah. And gain three magic. I gotta, I gotta pull the tricks out. This one has a preparation on it, so that'll come into play next round if I survive. Um. Wait a minute. Hold on. God, is it going to work? No. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, is this a, oh, this is a gray encounter, right? Yeah. yeah. He's going to kill me if I do this. Can you get one more point out there and just run away? Can I get one more point out there? You can't, can you? No, but I can do this instead. I take those back, leave that out, put this out instead. It's uncounterable. Put that out. If this last in sequence when enemy attacks, choose the attack instead of counting your total value. I can choose what he does to me. But then you're going to skip your next turn. He's going to attack twice. Yeah. All the cards in the sequence after this one. So he's still going to attack you. Have plus one value. Like, why don't you put out, can you put out enough cards that it adds plus one to the value of the ones that you're putting on the end? No, because they, I, don't, match. they don't line up. 
Well, this guy has a snake. But I can't. I have to play him first. Oh yeah. That's where I have. Well, that's why he's tricky because. That's where I've got like, issues. It's very interesting because they intentionally make it so you can't play really good cards next to really good cards. Yeah. Like they're it, everything's balanced. Like everything's either about this side or this side of the board, basically. Okay. So that's Two. discover weakness. Yes. Yeah, so the thing is, I have to put that out here. Two. One. Three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten, eleven. Ten, eleven. Yeah, I can't do any of this. So, I'm gonna run. Well, you can't just run. You have to get twelve or more to run away. No, no, no. That's for him to run away. Oh, for him 12. to run away. I can run away. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I to run away like five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna cost <laughs> like, me no. energy, <laughs> and he's gonna get an attack on me. <clears throat> so he's gonna bring me down. Pretty much to one. Dead. Yeah. And I'm going to run. So I'm in trouble. He was really, really tough. And I, I didn't need to do this one because I actually didn't use, didn't need to use the magic because yeah. I ended up not doing it. So, but he is uh, stuck on the perpetual. Location. So he stays. Oh, he's out perpetual? There. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to run around the map. And do bad things. Unless he runs off the map and then he's gone. But I'm gone. Uh, and I'm out of here. So <laughs> that is that. That was we need a, to have like a meeting. Yeah. So I ran away. My guy's gone. So I'm going to run out over there. Okay. So we should end the night. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> so I'm going to eat some food. And I heal, you heal one when you eat food, right? You're going here? You're going to get a nightmare. I'm not crazy now. I'm above it. What? I'm above it. I didn't go nuts this time because I didn't use my bowl, remember? Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Okay. So you restore one health and one terror, but my guy only has like two energy left, so I'm yeah. in bad shape. How do I heal? I'm going to need some healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Maybe you could connect with me and I can give you healing herbs. All right, so that is no good. Right. Uh, let's end the night. Figure out how we're going to get out of this mess. Um, so we've already read the dream there. We know what that is. No, you can... Oh, yeah. You yeah. don't dream. I want you to have another. Uh, I'm going to roll the dice because this guy is going to move and he's going to go north. Why don't I dream? So he goes north and he's Why gone. Why don't I dream? Because there's no... Oh, you yes, do dream in the Forlorn Swords? Yeah. Err, that goes away. Okay, because he ran he off ran the map. He ran off the map. So what are you doing? 105? 105. You do dream. That's why I went there. What, you wanted a dream? Yeah, I figured I didn't do anything else on my turn. All right. So the army of men formed a defensive line with their backs towards the sea, a last desperate stand. But the four dwellers did not attack. Instead, they sent giants to do the dirty work. As the titans began to advance, men cowered behind their shields and horses panicked. Only Arthur didn't, didn't move. He had known the giants would come. He counted on it. Alone, he marched out to meet them, stretching his arms wide. Half an hour later, the giants bent their knees before the human king and drove their weapons deep into the hill, vowing never to wake to take them up against humans. Mm. That's your dream. Interesting. The valiant Arthur. Yes, King Arthur. King Arthur. What is the next day? Down to three days. All right. Roads and trails fill with homeless vagabonds. Many hail from fishing villages up north, where the last many years went dark weeks ago. Through malformed, oh, though malformed and sick, they're the lucky ones. Their tails chill you to the bone. Is that what's going to happen to your land? Probably. Mm. Help the refugees. Spend one money mm -hmm. or one food, and you can gain a reputation and an experience. So wait, so money gives you what? You, it's money uh, or food, and you gain a reputation and an experience. All right, I'll, I'll spend wealth and gain Ooh, rep yeah, and experience. I don't have food to offer them. I only have two food. I'm starving. Um, okay, cool. All right. That's it. That is the event for the day. Yes. Now what to do? 
Uh, all I right. think you should go first this time. All right, so I have like one energy. I know. To spend. I'm going to go here. Okay. And I'm going to pay two energy and get exhausted mm. to gather food. Okay. Right? Let's read the matter. So that's all I can do this round. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you do? I paid two energy to gather food. Okay, now, now I need to draw, draw a green encounter. encounter. Bring it like, on. You didn't do that that easily. What do we have? It's a royal oh, elk. Oh, a royal elk. So it's fast. Draw a minus one card. So I only get to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, wow, and it does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. That is not good. Well, if I don't do any damage to him, then he doesn't hurt me. Right. So I get to so draw. Let's see what you get. So I'll draw two cards. All right, so. You can loot three food, though, if you kill him. I could use that. End turn after playing this card. Reposition. That's interesting. So I'll play that because mm -hmm. it does no damage. Yeah, he doesn't hurt you, so. And I'll hold on to this card and I'll draw up two. And he's not going to do any damage to mm -hmm. me. Because I'm kind of just positioning myself for the kill. Yeah, I guess. Right? right. Um, wow, some of these cards are tough. What is this? I guess I could... Well, I don't want to do any damage to him. Mm -mm. So I'm... Like you need to basically just be able to... Yeah, I'm going to just discard down two cards mm -hmm. and draw two more. I'm just going to two wait... Two more or one more? Well, oh, I normally draw three. Wait. Okay. All right, so I'm just waiting until I have the proper... Ah, uh, I see. Okay. The proper alignment of cards, right? Yeah, what do you have? Um, there you go. No, this isn't going to work. Oh, yeah. I can't because this ends my turn. Uh -huh. See, these yeah. certain cards end your turn. Tur you can play a turtle card, though. I can. Thing is. I can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll play the turtle card. That does three damage. Mm -hmm. um, this one would end my turn, right? Mm-hmm. He's, oh, he's a six. I can't do that. Not yet. Don't you have your... Oh, wait a minute. I could do that. No, that ends my turn. Yeah, yeah. I can't play that. You don't have your magic hammer? It's only plus... Oh, it's plus two. I forgot. It's plus... No, it's only plus two in purple, not no, green. But it is plus one. But it's still not enough. That's, okay, this would well. be three, four, and he's going to mess me up. So I'm going to hold on to this. Discard two. Draw two. <laughs> and continue to wait. Uh... Those wow. are like the good ones that you drew. Yeah. All right, so I'll do gather my thoughts. No, I don't want these two. Draw two more. I'm just going to keep I guess these are kind of easy, right? So there. Mm -hmm. And Three. there you go. Three. And there. And your extra. Three, four, five, six. Six on the hammer. Yeah. And I crushed him. All right, so yes. I guess you pretty much just save up till you get the right hand and then kill him. Yeah. So I get three food. All right. Whew. See? There you go. That was nerve wracking. <laughs> what a hunt. Yeah. All right. And we get to reveal 106 and 107. Ooh. 106 and 107. So the whitening. So that's that town. Trade with the townsfolk. Oh, interesting. I think I'll do that. Food for money, or you pay two energy to gain one terror, one coin, and roll a die on a six. Oh, you read. Oh, it's a treasure hunt. Oh, interesting. Treasure hunt. Pay two energy, gain a terror. 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 All right, what are you going to do? Ooh, I don't know. The mounds or... Are these Minera locations? That is. And this one. And that one. So we need to explore those. For sure. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go one, two, three. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'll explore. Oh. What? You have to do a blue encounter because Why? there is a village here. Uh, oh, yes, that, and that's actually why I wanted yeah, to Yes, so this is a diplomatic free. encounter. Okay. Yes, it automatically happens. Boom. And what is happening? It's a weeping orphan. Oh, no. Uh, yet another tragedy waiting to be revealed. Okay. Um, All right, so these are way different. Yeah. So we have a track here that we've got to get into the green. And this is a two-phase 
a diplomatic situation. Diplomatic mission. Are you on a diplomatic mission? I am. Uh, <laughs> so what'll happen is I can discard that and you can avoid it, and you'll get one terror. Uh, if you have more than one empathy, empathy, you can discard this encounter, but you'll gain terror because you just walk away right. from that kitty. Be like, Whoosh. I don't think so. Um, or you can try to comfort the child and then find a new guardian for this child. What would you like to do? Uh, what do I have to pay? So an energy. Um, yeah, so it's an energy um, card. So you basically just need to comfort the child. So you're gonna have to play cards and pay energy. Well, I only have one energy left. You might not want to do this then. Find new guardians. Well, yeah, because you're going to have to complete the first Fail one. if you run out of energy. Yeah, because it's going to cost you, because you're comforting Success this kid. Success is just going to be a reputation and right. an experience, right? So yeah, what's, what's right going to happen is you pay an energy to bump this up one. Okay. Pay an energy to bump it up yeah. again. Pay another energy to success. Yeah. And then you have to try to find new parents for them. Right. So you might want to just... Yeah, I might not do that. I like just got here. Okay. So you don't have time for this orphan child? <laughs> I don't have time for that. So yeah. then in that case, you get one terror... Okay. And then discard this encounter. So okay. you don't get any get penalties. It just you just like right. talk to the hand. I have no <laughs> time for you. Yes. Any time for you. So now you have other options. Um though. so but I might explore. Okay. Who would you like to explore? Yeah. Alright. Oh dear. The hole is here as always, gaping right in the middle of the whitening. The white lichen that gave this town. Its new name seems to grow out of it. It covers the walls of the nearby halls with a thick coat. Only close up one can discover it is, in fact, a layer of small sparkling crystals like sea salt on the wooden poles of a pier. As you inspect it, several people watch you suspiciously. Uh, do you have Fail's legacy status? No. Uh, are you Ailey? Yes. Then we read verse one. Okay. Have we been moving this dial, by the way? Uh, yes, we okay. did. <laughs> we are on three now. Great. <laughs> First one in 107. Okay. Okay, here we go. A pale, toothless man grabs you by the wrist. You mm. coil back like a spring, raising your weapon, but freeze seeing his pleading eyes. I know you, he says. You're the ward of priestess from Connacht. Please, you need to help us. Many are sick. It spreads like wildfire. I beg you, come. You shudder. The education you have received from the priestess was rudimentary, but enough to know that many plagues cannot be cured with herbs or simple magical concoctions, and that overzealous healers are often the first victims of outbreaks. Choose one. Visit the sick regardless, or refuse. Oh, no. But I might get really sick. Um, I'll visit them. All right, they've gathered them in a dark, long hall Rows upon rows of straw mattresses. Children, women, and young and elderly all share this one overcrowded space. That's they not also good. share the right symptoms. Now, Pale skin, black gums, loose teeth, bleeding sores all over the body, and white blotches on the skin. Is the whitening eating us too? One of the women asks. Please tell us. You shake your head. There's no disease or magic at work. Only severe malnutrition compounded by the lack of sunlight and contagious fungal infection. Choose your cure. Mm. Spend three energy. Apple cider vinegar. Uh, you, you could spend three <laughs> energy. Okay. Uh, three energy and one magic. Yeah. One energy and four food. Or leave. I don't have any of those things. Uh, then you have to leave. Exploration ends. That's it? You don't have enough energy to treat them. I'm sorry. But I... Can I go back there? Uh, yeah, look. We can activate the men here. here. Yeah, but we need the men your rights card. It, pay, it costs three energy, one health one magic one dollar per player and then you place a menu in a location in this location yeah but we need the menu rights card yes we do which we don't have we don't have the menu rights that's like card. our whole purpose and we don't have it all right so that was that all right are you going to end your turn here i have to I have no more energy. okay so the night is so eat one food restore one health I only get four energy if I'm exhausted, but that's the only energy I can get back mm -hmm. anyway. Um, 
And that's it. You want to expend experience. Yep. Your terror goes down to zero. Uh, that's it. Turn all, all right. dials. Uh, did you pull a new event? No. We are down to two ticks on the menu. Great. Heavy rainfall oh, again. Oh, again. Each travel after the first cost plus one energy. All right. Not a big deal. Um, okay. So. I want to go back there now that I have you, energy. You actually can. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Okay. Do you want to do your. Yeah. I want to do it again. Adventure. Yes. Now all that right, I have more energy. So, 107. I like slept on it. And then you thought came, about it. With more energy. Like I'll come back in the morning. I was like, oh, this is too much for today. It's too late for me to do anything for you right now. Okay, so which one are you gonna do? You wanna spend three energy? I will spend if you have one practicality, you can do this. Do you have practicality? I do, yeah. But Ooh. I can do you said that I can do three energy and a magic. And a magic to perform healing rites that will restore their health okay. at least for a short while. Uh-huh. Um uh, the other one is so one of them will give you the practical remedy the other one will give you a magical remedy mm -hmm. and the other one is just giving them enough food to recuperate oh that i cannot do all right so would you want the magical or the practical remedy how much does the practical one cost three energy and that's it and no magic nope oh well i thought she said that magic doesn't heal them but i don't know okay well i guess i can do that and spend a magic. You're going to do the magical one. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, we get a secret. So what is the location mm -hmm. number? You double the location number. 107. So 214. 214. So I'll have to go to in 214 in the Book of Secrets. You better give me men here, right? 214. Oh, dear. The problem is solved, at least for now. Residents of Whitening search their homes for the last remaining valuables they could pay you with. Their family heirlooms, their wedding bands, their sacred talismans. Should you accept? Gain one experience and the cure status. Mm -hmm. Then gain either two wealth or one experience and one, and one reputation. So I get an experience. Yes. I get two experience. You get one. I get one experience. And now you could take one additional experience and reputation or two wealth. Uh, I think I'll take the wealth. Two wealth. Exploration ends. Okay. That's it. And I get what status? Cure status. Cure. Okay. I'll just put a cube there. So you are cure I'm status. Cured lady. All right. So you did good. Um, okay. And then for my last energy, mm -hmm. I'm going to go here to meet up with you and create a party. All right. So you come to me. I'll give you a food. Thank and that you. should last you another day. Okay. Which is weird because the next turn you can just spend two energy and get your own food. Yeah, but then I have to fight. <laughs> All right. So I mean, what? Do you want your food back? No. I'll fight. I don't care. I'll spend I'm one energy. I'm just better at, like, doing right, this stuff. I'm going to spend one energy to come here, and I'll spend one more to explore. That's all the energy I okay. have. Ready? Yep. Go ahead. Ooh, the four dweller mounds. Mm. The mist-covered mounds resonate with the sound of spades and pickaxes. Once, only insane treasure hunters worked here, but more and more gold emerged from under the earth. These burial grounds turned to a regular mine, or at least an almost regular. Mm. People still disappear or go mad here from time to time. And this is another men here that we can find. Okay. And there's also a journal book, so let me read that to you. Okay, so journal entry. 106. 106. What are my options? Okay. The mist-covered mounds resonate with... Okay, we did this. Choose from below. So you can wander deep into the mounds, chat with the miners, mm -hmm. or leave. I'll chat with the miners. Oh, right. You stop and listen to a miner's tale. They say a young foreman's apprentice once met a pale, sad girl between the mounds, and she ran from him without saying a word. Over the next weeks, he kept slipping away from his work to wander between the mounds looking for the girl. He saw her two more times, but never managed to catch her. Finally, one day, he noticed a girl running into an open four-dweller mound. He went after her. The place was dark and teeming with strange powers. The apprentice kept pushing onwards, even his voices taunted him and laughed. Finally, after hours of fruitless search, he emerged from the exit only to discover his body and posture had changed. He was now a young, pale girl. Mm. It's probably just the girl. Yeah. Before she was able to overcome the shock of this discovery, a gruff foreman's apprentice spotted her. Shocked and ashamed, she ran away and kept wandering the mounds for days until she found an open tomb again. This time there was an empty coffin in inside. The girl was so tired she laid in it and fell asleep. 
she woke up in a comfortable bed as a six-year-old boy hmm. who still shuddered from the insan intensity of his dream. The dream never left his mind and finally pushed him to leave his village at the age of 15 and sign up as a foreman's apprentice in the mounds. The man who tells you the story has sunk in sad, full of fear and yearning. You thank him for his time and discreetly move away. Hmm. Gain one spirituality if your character has heard this story for the first time. Yes. Explorations. Wow, that's huge. Excellent. So that was just a dream? No, it was a story about a dream. But it made me spiritual. It's like a meta dream. It was a meta dream. It was a dream within a dream. <laughs> All right, so I am done. You're done. I'm done here. All right. And I'm going to rest. So you have to read me my too. dream, my fever dream. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, and you're still in 106, right? Yep. Should have just stayed on that page. Well, I didn't realize it. I didn't either. I'm going to eat my food while you read my dream. Okay. <laughs> Heal up <clears throat> a little more. I'm getting there. All right. There are no dreams in this place. The sleep is cold and silent as the mounds themselves. Mm, wow. Okay. No dreams. No dreams. All right. So eat your food. Yeah. Rest up. Yep. Okay. And we are on the next day, so we have one more day. To find these miners rights? Pretty much. Mania rights. Oh, minor rights. They're minor rights. Minor rights, major rights. All right, so that is the last day, but I think we're going to cut it here. I think that was what? enough of the... Well, we can't give it all away, right? We can't tell them exactly how to get the Minier. Oh, that is true. Right? We strategically did not get the Minier rights. Yes, we purposely went line. around and did a lot of things <laughs> so that we would show how the game plays. So let's okay. go talk about all it. All right. All right. Sorry to cut you short. It's like another failed attempt. But we had to. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> But that's good. I'm glad we it failed is, yeah. um, because we want to try again and again and again until we figure this out. Right. Um, and I, I guess that was kind of like when we played that one game where you go back in time. And what, time stories? Time stories, yeah. right? Where as you're playing through it, you're like, all right, you kind of figure some of it out, but then you right. play it again and then you play it again and then you play it again. Eventually, and you kind of know like when you go back into it. And, yeah. th and this is great because we'll talk about replayability like we always do first. Mm -hmm. And you would think, like at first I was, I'm always a little bit hesitant to put these kinds of games on the channel because it's like, we don't want to spoil too much. Mm -hmm. But with this, it's like, even if you know what the locations were, and like we know where where a lot of these were, we knew it was right here, that's why we didn't go down there yet. But um, like, you still don't know everything. Mm -hmm. And everywhere you go, you have so many options and the decision tree is just so you know, enormous mm -hmm. that every time you sit down to play, it's like the same frustrating challenge over and over and over. And and it makes the, like when you finally get the many rights or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah. like it makes it so much more enjoy. I don't want to say even like enjoyable, but you're just like, yes, finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I now, it, now I can go know? build rebuild right. those manias or, or whatever right, you know, right. and and kind of go beyond this starting little right. island place and see what's what out there. What would happen is once we're able to once we have the rights and we're able to reactivate the two uh, manias up up top here mm -hmm. that allows us to then unlock another portion of the map because again the manias kind of cast their glow yeah. all around them so then you can start exploring like other villages and other things that that will come out that you would not even be able to see right here yeah, until you the do only that. guy we have and he's like you know useless yeah he's well he's burning <laughs> he's out burn and out we're fast. pretty much running out of time and to, like there's no get... reactivating him right now yeah guess, or so. activating the other ones because yeah. we just don't have the rights and right that was kind of like our stopping point yeah but um but no nah, really really challenging but and i think like you said it the replayability here is in the fact that you're not going to beat this on the first go uh -huh. and and this is just chapter one i know part like two part you know two. what i mean like we're not even there yet. Three. yeah so <laughs> And and we're probably gonna you know die here right. and have to start over again yes, and again, again. And, and it changes depending on what characters you are because mm -hmm. if you're a certain character at a certain location a certain yes. story unfolds exactly. where if you're not something else is gonna happen right. Right? right so we just happened to go to the right locations that kind of complemented mm -hmm. our, our particular characters, characters yeah. and let us do a couple of cool different things so that right. was really really neat yeah 
So, so right, let's replayability, talk about it. replayability. Very high. Yeah, I think very high. It, it, even though you wouldn't think it is, it actually yeah. is quite quite high. So. Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be put off by the fact that it's like story driven mm-hmm. because even if you kind of understand the story, you're going to get so many plays out of this game yeah. before it expires. Before you figure it all <laughs> and out. And then by the time you you figure it out, um, it, there's probably going to be expansions. Yeah. So it's very I can I can at least see that this would be very easy right. to build onto. And we said like earlier in the beginning, we we talked about comparing it to Seventh Continent, and mm-hmm. now you could say, well, there's no replayability in Seventh Continent. That's not true. Right. Like, even though you kind of know yeah. the maps, you can still continue to play that. Then there's been a bunch of expansions, so mm-hmm. you can you know that game has got a lot of legs. Um, so you can't say that once you figure it out, well, it's done, but yeah, there's a lot of games out there now that, I mean, if it were a legacy game then I'd say, yeah, probably, but yeah. it's not like it's you can not. reset it up, play different characters, right. Have a different adventure altogether. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and you build your characters up differently. Too, yeah, exactly. Kind of cool. you, yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, good. yeah, we've beaten that one, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, but as far as weight and audience goes, yes. I want to talk about who this is for. This is for someone who who enjoys thematic stories. adventure games, right? Very that have a, that that deep. games that tell stories, right? This is yes. a, this game is a story. It's it? shrouded in mystery. Like yeah. there's something going on, and we didn't even uncover a lot of it during the playthrough here. Mm-hmm. But there's like something creepy going on that you are trying to figure out. Not only like are you trying to do the tasks that are being assigned to you, right? Like that are kind of guiding your adventure, but you're really trying to figure out like what is the backstory here yeah you know because everything's connected right and you're not a superhero that's no, going to go around and just yeah. beat things down like right. i i had a really plan to kill that deer right <laughs> and then i try to deer i try to elk. hold off an angry mob and they just right. beat me down yeah so i just had to run like, like the first time you played i ran into like i ran into like a bunny yeah and like in the picture the illustration i was like oh it's just it's a bunny that's cute like yeah. i was like maybe he'll join our party and it and that was not how it went no. at all and i lost miserably you did you party. ran you ran from yeah. the rabbit i did that was great um but anyway as far as audience goes um the other thing i, I like about this game is that the combat is um is really kind of unique mm-hmm. from a mechanical perspective yeah yeah because you're not just chucking dice uh you're lining up these keys which you saw and it's a very, and you probably saw, like, for me, it's extremely complex because yeah. I'm not really used to, I don't play a lot of combat, and I'm also not used to, like, this whole how to, like, kill stuff sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But this I've never seen before, and I don't know if you have. Not, but not exactly like this, The no. fact that you're, like, lining up your strengths with the, with the, um, uh, not character, but the, you know. The enemy's weakness. The enemy's weaknesses. Yeah. And that you have to actually have those attributes and pick and choose how you go about the fight. And it's not just, okay, I've got, you know, 14 value worth of cards, you're dead. You know, but, okay, I've got 12, but that actually might be worse than if I only hit him for two and then kind of step back for a Mm -hmm. minute. And so there's a really, really heavy degree of complexity in how you fight in this game. Yeah. Um, So there's definitely some weight there, I think, that if you're not ready for it Mm -hmm. you may struggle with a little bit but if you find a friend who's good at that kind of thing (laughs) then um then you can kind of balance because again each of your players uh each of the characters kind of does a something different right right? or you could level your character up to be better at fighting you're supposed to do but yeah but it's hard i mean i just got to experience so like i probably would have next turn like you know tried to make i would have gotten like maybe an aggression Mm-hmm. To round out what's what's going on on my board, right. you know. Um, but anyway, anything else you want to say on weight or audience? No, I, I, I think that we've okay. pretty much summed that. All right, um, let's talk about a theme and components. Yeah, wow. Component wise, this thing is. Well, we, to be honest, we don't expect anything less really from Awaken Realms at this point. Yeah, their their production is their just production is like off the charts. Top top notch. Their minis are really awesome looking yeah. they're always unique right you know they're have their own style their cards the the player boards are are mm-hmm. dual layered and the like, art book like i don't know if it came, the art came with an art book like a, like yeah an art book that's like gorgeous yeah like their their games are like works of art yeah and it's just it doesn't fall short of that here right like everything is done and this is a prototype i mean come i know on. yeah it doesn't feel so like even these effect, coins but... are like legit as timers yeah, they yeah. act as timers they act as coins they act as markers yeah, they're dual purpose. They could do whatever and they're, dual purpose. and they're pretty damn cool looking yeah so yeah there's a lot going on in this mm-hmm. game and the production quality is it's off the charts yeah. yeah for sure um 
Did you have fun playing this game? Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. fun um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. I, I kind of, um, by the look of it, thought it was going to be Seventh Continent ish, and mm -hmm. I was pleasantly surprised that it was, mm -hmm. but not, but a little bit more. It was a little fantasy. More robust. Yeah. It was more fantasy. Right. Um, and I like the character building, you know, I like the combat mechanic. Mm -hmm. Um, all of that together just made for a very rich experience. And I you know, yeah. I like like having to go to the journal to find out what happens uh -huh. and all the choices you're 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 right. given at that time. You have just so many options, it's just an open sandbox. Whatever you want to do, go do. Um, you could waste time searching locations, yeah. you know, all day, but you're gonna lose. You right. know? So you've got to kind of <laughs> way you know everything you do is it worth going down this rabbit hole for something that may not lead me to like these veneers right right exactly. and then you know you may have the coolest gear but the lights go out and your game's over right so it really doesn't <laughs> matter so yeah um and I, there's I, no yeah. like coming back into it no again, that's it you're done once you once yeah. you go too far you, you're done yeah. I, so i can't wait to see what the fully vetted production of this game yes. is going to look like because yeah. it's probably going to be off the charts i think the story is probably going to be fantastic and I, I you know i'm really anxious to see like how many chapters um really are going to get packed into this yeah and, and yeah. where where it goes from there right so yeah it. super cool right. um so i think that's all we, you know we really touch on for kickstarter yeah it, that's like it makes it. me want to go deeper and talk about this game a lot but i really don't want to talk about it no too much because, because it's it's on, on kickstarter so um and it's a prototype so this mm -hmm. is about as much as we can go into it um but awaken realms they do awesome games there's yeah, no question do. about it they do um so definitely one to check out really good tainted grail on kickstarter go check it out all right all right hope you enjoy the playthrough and we'll see you next time see ya